Drake, what are you doing back here? <laughs> Stay away. You can't keep me away from the Hangout Live. I'm telling you. It's only been a couple weeks. Yeah, I guess so. Feels like yeah, it's, you know. Time already. But it's torture. Torture. So welcome back to the Hangout Live. Of course, uh, we're coming back for the special show tonight. And uh, we, as we promised, when we have the, the, the right guest and the right timing, that we will make the show happen. Hey guys, how you doing? Coming in already. All right. So, um, how have you been in the last couple of weeks? Uh, you you know, about, pretty, busy, pretty busy, but uh, good. And you know, it looks like uh, um, you know we probably will have a couple more shows coming up. There's some stuff in the works that you know you just can't turn is. down sometimes. You know, so you can't turn it down like the gentleman we have on tonight. Man, we could not turn this down. You know, it's crazy, brother, and we were just talking about this pre-show, and we're going to talk with Mr. Maldonado about this as well, is that uh, it's been two years. Yeah, almost almost two years. So two years. The second, or you can consider it third if you count Dato, guest yeah. on the Hangout close to, very close to two years ago now. It's yeah, I even brought out a shirt from the, the attic here, brother, to commemorate the second year we've got Mike Gobby's headbanger oh, wow. yeah. shirt on that was sent out to me in, in March of 2020. So that's badass. All right, man. I don't March think we make a point anymore. So, shoot, that maybe it has been two years, March of 2020. Yeah, it has been. So there yeah. you go. We're there. Well, let's let's bring right, Luis in. I'm sneaking him in because he's a brother. He's family, dude. He doesn't have to sit down there in the waiting room like everybody else. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, my brother? Ah, everything's good here. Are you guys good? We're good, Fantastic. dude. I what a what a what a fucking weird two years, right? Like, yeah, huh? like we had this wonderful like dude. like show that we did almost two years ago, and then boom, like just wild, right? Yeah, it's been crazy. Yeah, it has it's been, been crazy. It's been two years. I'm like, wow, it's been two years already. It's, it's just cr oh, yeah, it, lost. Last yeah. year, I, guess. I don't know. I mean, it's weird. Yeah, yeah. I don't think 2021 ever ended. It just kind of felt like it just rambled on, and we just kind of we're yeah, still kind of, kind of consuming that year and trying to process what we went through as a society and a, and, and a world. So I, I I think you're right. I think it did run kind of run into the other year. Yeah. You know, I mean, nothing we did was stock, right? Like we couldn't really go out. There were all these landmark things like. Ooh, let's go for Easter or let's go for this. Or hey, Thanksgiving. Nope. You know, Christmas e just with yeah. very close friends. New Year's, no, you know, so it just kind of it all kind of ran into each other. Right. And then finally at the end of this past year, people are kind of like, I'm gonna have Thanksgiving with my family. If I'm gonna get COVID, I'm gonna get COVID. You know what I mean? Like Yeah. I, I feel that's kind of why it felt like it ran on, you know. I don't know if that's my theory, I guess. This this holiday season had a different meaning um, for me as an individual. I mean, before I've, I've always been a, a passionate about Christmas and the holidays, but this year was more about just being together and and like, hey, man, we've made it. <laughs> you know, it's like yeah. we're still here and we're still intact. And and yeah. unfortunately for a lot of people in the country, they don't have that option. Yeah, to say that so. Yeah. Um, and my heart goes out to that man. So that's yeah. really what the feeling was. Louise, I gotta con I gotta say something, dude. Your okay. hair <laughs> has, has now sh has taken over the show. Robbie, I don't think you have the best hair on the show tonight. Oh no. Oh wow. No. Nah. <laughs> Louise's hair is looking fantastic, bro. Well, I'm hey, trying, you know? but like I got all these like flyaways. Yeah. In so fact, I, I feel like I, I, I stopped I stopped cutting it. Oh yeah, that looks good yeah. too. Maybe I, should, I I don't have a hat here, but I would. I have readers. How about if I put readers on? There you go. Can you geek out for me? There you go, brother. That's you know the look we're looking for right there. So, so if anyone, yeah. So I'm I'm to see Robbie has his. So, so now we're all. I don't have a hat, but I have readers. Um, <laughs> so if anybody's watching right now, they see me looking at this. I was just telling the guys that my laptop camera works, but my screen doesn't. It got cracked, and so I have to have a different screen. So if you see me going like this, it's part of my ADD and coffee intake. So, All right? You know what? I just Nothing wrong with I coffee gotta, intake. I gotta say something. Who's this Gabe at the house? He's a fucking tool. Pull him out of here. What? Yeah. Who the fuck is that guy? 
Is the guy dressing like Stephen? Yeah, Tom? he's is he he's talking smack about my pal there. F you. No, I, I, I don't. I don't think he's it. actually talking about your shirt, my brother. I oh, think your me? shirt's wonderful. Oh, my shirt. Oh no, I think he's talking about my shirt. It's a standard yeah. rock and roll. It's a standard rock and roll black from H and M with a lot of holes because it's an old shirt. So that's that's he's talking about my shirt. Oh, Gabe, I've got go I've away. got so many holes on this shirt. Oh, I got ha <laughs> ha! I got them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, well, we'll deal with Gabe. It's sad when you know people you get a have tool in there. Yeah, when you get a tool, yeah, that's a tool. Whatever. Okay. Anyhow, whatever. squirrels. So anyway, so anyhow, um, almost two years since we've had Luis on the show. Now, Luis, I got to tell you, brother, that. During the pandemic and talking about 2021 and 22 and everything that we went to, man, you became kind of like a beacon of light because I got into a very dark place for a while. Oh, man. And I would call you and you were like so positive and so uplifting and so incredible to talk to and like intentive and more, man. This 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 is a true friendship, man. And this oh, guy right is on. incredible. This guy is absolutely incredible for so all of you out there that watch him and listen to him and, and have been with his journey, you are standing behind a quality human being because you've really helped out. Oh, right on. I appreciate that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I, I appreciate that. Well, I'm 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 glad to hear that because I I you know, I think I don't think anybody didn't hit that dark patch. You know what I mean? And I think that was a collective thing, you know, all the way around. But I, I, but I, I, you know, thankfully I have a really wonderful partner who's also very positive, you know, and, you know, and Anna was always every day. She was, you know, there were moments when we had, that was like, oh my God, what are we going to do? You know what? We'll just figure it out. But she was always pretty darn positive. So that helped a lot too. Um, cause, cause I, I mean, shit, this whole thing happened and I'm sure 